South Sudan is facing the greatest challenge of its young life. Heavy fighting has continued in the capital, Juba, since Sunday night. These latest clashes have forced thousands to flee, and many more are hiding in their homes as the fighting rolls around Juba. South Sudan only became independent two years ago, after decades of civil war. The rebels who won independence were a pretty divided bunch, who often fought each other. Riek Machar broke away to form his own rebel movement in 1991. He later returned to the fold, even becoming vice president of the new country. But many of the South Sudanese elite do not trust him. President Salva Kiir sacked his deputy in July, and he now blames soldiers allied to Mr Machar for starting this fighting. The president's critics say he's taking advantage of a military flare-up to deal with his enemies. One thing is clear. The long history of war has left South Sudan a militarised society with deep ethnic fractures.